Congratulations! Just want to say a few congratulations, you have made it to the finalists of Back Chat Season 5. We really loved your audition, yeah? And we're excited to have you a part of the team. Perfect. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the video. As you lost can see by the title, you know what today's video is going to be about. Man's made it on Back Chat Season 5. Call it, call it, call it. Who I am already, my name is Jay, and just make sure you guys like, comment, if you need to channel, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and let's get straight into this video if you lost. And oh, by the way, make sure you guys follow my social medias TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, everything all under the same at J Edwards with two D's in it because some bastard wanted to teeth for one D in it. So two D's, no homo, like up the thing, subscribe the thing, follow the thing, right there, there, and let's get straight into the damn video. This video is gonna be a whole story time about the whole audition process, how I got onto the show, just basically all the ins and out of the of of the whole process, you understand what I'm saying? So imagine, man's been watching back chat since since I've been in secondary school, bruh. So man watched season one, season two, season three, season four, and man's on season five, yeah? I never thought I would have gone on the show because when I'm watching the show, I'm seeing bare pasta pasta, bare mix up, bare beef for one, short in a piece of pizza. Since last year, like I've just been pre knitting and I'm like, not gonna lie, number one, the whole show is saturated with Africans. They ain't really know Jamaicans on there. You know, the, the, the ax steel, the rice and peas, and the okra, steam fish, and all them sort of the crackers, the pan. But you know, Jamaican pan it's so where I have the style, which you know, I'm not bad looking to the eye. You know, a little vibe, because my have a buzz, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, now we see the casting call for back chat. I'm gonna put up the casting call image or whatever when they put out there. Saw that and I was like, okay, let me send in the email. Let me try my luck. And this was all back in November, guys. And we're now in like, what? Today's day is Wednesday, the 24th of February. Innit? So I saw the casting call and I sent in the email. And I was like, bro, I wonder if they're going to get back to man. You know, man's just air waiting. Man got the first email in it. So the first email was, oh, you see them saying, thank you for applying for the new scenes on the back chat. Please state your name, age, location, number, etc., etc." And then they asked you for a first audition video. I'm not going to lie to you, my team wasn't really ready to them but I didn't look too shabby so I'm just thinking you know what let me just smash it out of the way so I'm gonna set up my, set up my lighting equipment I set it up tripod everything I'm gonna go over them and answer the question them so the question them was like why should we cast you for back chat right, listen I'm even I'm gonna insert the video for you yeah I'm gonna insert the video for you. Yo, any other back chat team, you're not saying you're boy J. I would say, come on. If you're not seeing me about on social media, don't tap my name in YouTube, Google, and all of that, and just do the vibe check, see if you like what I'm saying, see what I bring to the table, innit? Because, you know what I'm saying? Your boy your boy is here, you know? <laughs> Why should you guys cast me on back chat? I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm very real, I'm very opinionated. I don't think nothing for shit. If A is A and B is B, I'm telling you, A is A and B is B. Nobody can try to run me down and try to tell me it's C. I stand my ground in it, and I feel like you need to be that way in back chat, fam. I have energy, I have good vibes, and I feel like that's why you should cast me on there, too. You don't see some diversity. I can't lie to you. I've been seeing bad Africans on there. I've seen some Caribbeans on that, but I'm not gonna lie, they, they've been a bit off still. Like, you need some oxtail curry goat, you know, okra and fry fish and them sitting there. You need me on the thing, but man says bumper clock and all them something there. You need my vibe and my energy on the thing, you know what I'm saying? But let me not do too much in it. So you, you need some guys on there with style still. Like, I, I feel like I need to bring some sauce. I need to bring some sauce to that chat. Let me, yeah, that's me. At my age, and I'm more serious now, innit? I've been through a lot in life. For like me being under 25 I've experienced a lot of shit in life and I feel like I can bring a lot to the table in terms of back chat like I feel like my experiences back up my points a lot and I feel like it's more me into the person I am today and I feel like I can bring some real spit to back chat bro you need you need somebody like me on the show that has charisma character you know a tip chat from nobody you understand so cool now we done that and we send it after them so they got back to me on the 2nd of December saying congratulations you made it to the next round of the additions for back chat season 5 like this would be around within the next 2 to 4 weeks because of obviously because of COVID there's guidelines they have to follow etc etc so mum was just literally sitting there like a sitting duck from november straight down through to december and in january in between the time man's told no body because evil eye is so real oh, 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 oh. whatever you're doing do it in silence do not tell anybody until it's solidified because i'm telling you people will make you doubt yourself i guarantee you if i was to tell people on my social on my social yo i'm applying for back chat i probably would not have gotten through but when you do stuff like this just keep your mouth pim and keep it moving when you're bossing no that's when you can come on the stage like this and pack up the thing yo anyways cool this is what i did right man had a whole strategy for this you know what i'm saying man ordered clothes specifically for that audition do you understand what i'm saying to you man came just out drippy ready to go in there saying like listen you're going to notice me today bruv this is what i was wearing yeah man came out nice you know what i'm saying nice cream fit this that and the next you lots had to notice me and listen to me i felt so confident fam i walked in the train station people were like oh you're looking nice da -da -da -da. you're looking jiffy i was like yes bruv like it gave me the confidence that i needed and god knows i prayed and i fasted and i was just you know i was just 
was praying for the thing like, yo, put God before everything you do. I just sat down and I said a little prayer. I was just like, yo, bring me through the audition. If this is what I'm meant to do, and this is what I like, what you want me to do, just like guide my mouth, make sure you just guide me through the whole process. When I stepped through, yeah, people, I looked by me now, and I could not, I could not find a place. And when I got inside, now I saw one familiar face of social media. Man thought it was gonna be problems. I was like, oh god, out of all people to put me in with, like, why am I, man? And I was just thinking, raw, like, is it gonna be problems? Is man, I'm gonna have beef and da 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 da. But surprise, like it was all cool, it was all good vibes, da 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 da. Wherever in it, so man stepped up there now. And when I stepped up to the thing, my girl was like to me, um, let me let me be respectful about my girl. Me and them are not age mates. So when it was my turn, now man went up there. I was a bit nervous, and I was just like, why am I nervous, fam? I'm on YouTube all the time. Like I'm on social media all the time. Why am I nervous to record one little video, like setting my name, age, dirt of birth, and what ends I'm from? Like why am I nervous to do it? Like, so man's walked up there now. I'm just breathing. I'm like, yo, like I'm saying, I'm convincing myself. I'm ready, but low key, I'm pissing myself, blood. I'm like, yo, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Men are ready. So the girl looks at me and she's like, ah, oh, what's going on? Like, in your audition video, it's very confident. I was like, give me a second, it's coming, trust me, it's coming. So, anyways, they started asking me, like, what ends you from? What's your name? Age, all of that. Fun fact about yourself and whatever, whatever. I told them I'm a YouTuber, I, mean, I have style, I'm into fashion and all of that. And then there was the actual debates. So they set up the debate thing the same way how you lots would see it on the TV. So, you know, boys versus girls, five on each side. We were short of one boy, so Mark Cuban had to jump in it so i think the question was something along the lines of what was the question now there god the question was would you date somebody that your parents didn't approve of you don't know my thing already about parents but i was just thinking you know what? i'm not gonna lie to you you have some parents out there some moms that will just be like yo my spirit don't take her and every girl you bring home is crosses and whatever whatever you gotta live your life for yourself and i'm not gonna lie to you you have to go through like experiencing certain things for yourself and, like obviously parents do know best and with ages wisdom and whatever whatever but you do have some jamaica especially from a caribbean household it'll be like oh dead the girl leave the girl some like some jamaica Making parents are just bad man and they don't want to see you happy and i think it's very ironic here yeah? all of them mash up and don't in no relationship yeah then go out and then fuck everybody and they want to come give you relationship advice when you don't have a man you don't have a woman and you don't have a girl yeah they're, they're single and you want to come tell me who i can and can't date go and sit down if she's proven myself to me that's all that matters because at the end of the day i'm not fucking you it's not your pussy that i'm dipping and diving in it's my wife's one like all these jamaican parents are carrying gen generational curses and they want to come transpire that on you like if god shows me that this is my wife then this is my wife used to you to come I'm come against God. <laughs> You're my creator, but he's the creator. Okay, cool. Oh, God, 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 God. But if every girl I bring home is an issue, that is your own. I can't lie to you because I'm not sucking and licking around. I'm not sleeping with you. I'm not laying down with you. It's my girl. The, the, the conversation gets more heated. Do you know what I'm saying? The conversation getting more heated and more people are shouting across and I'm there making my point. And there's one next Jamaican girl, um, Yadi girl across from me and she tries to come cut me off. I'm, I, I, and I'm thinking, Bitch, what? Mark was like, don't have it, don't have it. Big up Mark though, because he was actually like, yeah, you, I agree with you, just that and the next and whatever, whatever. I was like, hold on a minute. Everybody shut up on the bomba cloud and da, 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 da. me attack. Oh, let me talk. Let me talk. Me attack. Da, 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 da. Shut up your ass, Mark. I don't see people wait. No, she rude, but she trying to cut me off. I said, shut up on the bomb, me attack. Let me talk, no man, me attack. Don't cut me off. I was speaking. I was speaking. I was speaking. I was speaking. I said, no, I'm not having it. Oi, I'm speaking. You're going to let me finish my point today bruv finish my point and then i let everybody else do their thing moving on from that that audition went well i left that audition feeling very good about myself i didn't feel like i compromised myself one bit i felt like i stood out i felt like i was just you know just me be, and i am what i like the best thing of it all I, I was myself that's what you need on the show you need your voice do you understand what i'm saying to you and with them they're trying to pick different kind of personalities quiet people dominant people outspoken people which is obviously me dominant outspoken etc etc they like them kind of characters and when you put them on that's what makes a good show that audition they eliminated people so when they were sitting down there calling out names to eliminate i was like Papa jesus please don't let them el eliminate me anyways i didn't get eliminated i thought that was the final stage and i thought that's when we get on the show and stuff like that they come and tell me that there was a next there was a next stage and i'm just thinking again really like i could have saved this outfit for next week because this is the this was the best outfit i'm gonna pop the outfit again for you to see like this was a really good outfit i make sure you guys go to my instagram and you like that photo as well at j edwards i'm gonna keep you know what i'm saying you know you don't follow the thing if you want updates on back chat and all of these kind of things that's a place where you need to look instagram lives and stuff like that all of that's going to be going and all over on my instagram my instagram is going to be very active so make sure you guys do follow that any updates regarding my youtube you gotta go to my instagram follow my snapchat from behind the scenes you just know like more fluent more fun content you don't shouldn't 
stop, connect with me on different platforms. So that's where me and you can build a real friendship. Like message me, ask me what I'm going on. You know what I'm saying? If you're hungry, come let me come feed you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and by the way, guys, no one knew about this. I wasn't even trying to tell Lani what I was doing, but um, I speak to Lani quite a lot. So she was, uh, she was kind of like, she was like to me, ah, oh, um, the only reason why Lani knew about this whole thing was because she was asking me, oh, what, are you not going to go on the show? Are you not going to apply the show, apply to get on the show? I feel like you should get on the show. Your personality will be like, go one on the show. I was saying to her like, nah, I don't know, because I didn't know. I was like, no, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get my show. And she was like, do it, bruv. Like, I feel like you should. It would be good for you. Nobody helped me on that show, yeah? It was all me. It was all my own source, okay? Perfect. Comes the last audition now, so it was all the semi-finalists. I stepped in there. This is what I did for the whole audition process. I didn't converse with nobody. There was no conversation. I said, I'm not here to be friends with you lots until I get on the show. I went into the auditions and I sat in one corner, bruv, away from everybody else. I wasn't trying to let anybody suss me out. Do you know what I'm saying? I sat in the corner deliberately. I sat there with my hands crossed like this and I was just there watching everybody like, yeah, go on, friend up, friend up. But now I'm friend up with you to get up on the show. Because on another track, come sabotage me and my thing. You know what I'm saying? So then I just licked them with fire when I got onto the stage now. So this was the final day. So I knew that this day was going to be very, very intense. Everyone's trying to argue, speak over each other to get onto the show. But yeah, but this is the final group discussion. Again, boys versus girls. Lucas was there from Bet Chat. Man's there, man's ready. My, oh, again, man's dripping. I'm going to show you the outfit that I was wearing. Popping up right there. And I was also wearing a blue jacket to go with it. I was wearing this nice blue jacket. So the question for the final group discussion was, ah, oh, this is more for the ladies, isn't it? So ladies, if your man plans Valentine's Day a day before Valentine's Day, which means on Valentine's Day, you're not gonna have a Valentine's Day, will it be a problem? Bro, everyone starts screaming. They started and I, and I rebuttal the question like, what are you lots doing for your man on Valentine's Day? That's what I wanna, bro, everyone shouting, everyone shouting, everyone. I was like, hold on, let me speak, let me speak. You go see the remake. I asked the girls one question, I was like, yo, why is Valentine's Day such a big deal for you? Shouldn't your man be making you feel special every single day of the week but oh valentine's day is a big significant day this that, and the next why is he not planning shit for me bro i said to the girls that like, some of you lots only feel secure in your relationship on valentine's day some of you lots only know you're in a relationship on valentine's day and you lots are still deciding you lots are out here waiting on man and to be like yo come let's go somewhere or oh, let me plan a thing for you lots here and some of you lots are only doing it for the social media hype bruv so you can go to a little hakasan a little bit to the shard look a bit to a hotel more if snap it on your snapchat and call it a day some of you lots are only into valentine's day for the hype yeah and some of you guys ain't doing nothing for your man on Valentine's Day. And much much less, you lots are expecting oh, roses, petals, dinner dates, and this, that, and the next. And much of you lots, you can't even write. I said to you lots, all of you lots are killing up yourself over Valentine's Day when enough of you lots are using your universal credit to come and um, fund these Valentine's Day. Breaking news. Some of you lots are broke pocket people falling in into social media hype and you lots don't have the money for it and using your housing benefit to come and fund these things. And enough man them are out there paying for the pussy on their universal credit. <laughs> You lots need to chill. You lots need to relax. There's different ways that you lots can show each other love. And Valentine's Day shouldn't be that day where you lots should feel like, yo, I'm in a relationship. This man loves me. And I said to them, girls, you lots need to do start shit for your man them as well. Valentine's Day is more for the man to be like, yo, babes, I appreciate. But it's both ways. You understand? Love is both ways. You can't come to man and be like, yo, ah, uh, you're gonna do nothing to me, but then I don't rate your thing. If your man didn't plan you nothing and you didn't plan your man nothing, what did you do? You girls are too lazy. You lots don't wanna do nothing on Valentine's Day, and you just wanna come laying down on your back on Valentine's Day as well, not do nothing. Don't complain. I, I was being a bit out of order, but I was like, yeah, some of you lots need to relax in it. And then it just bare screaming, bare screaming, bare shouting. I was like, bro, this is not how we have group discussions. Like, why is everyone screaming over each other? Like, yeah, it had to be a thing where I had to be like, let him speak and let her speak. Like, everyone was just trying to shout over each other, blood. Like, it was just bare noisy, bro. Man thought man was gonna flop the thing because everyone was just chatting over each other because obviously they didn't like that. And I can just see their faces like, bro, like, why is, why is everyone screaming and that? But anyways, after our thing now, man's thinking that, bro, obviously my po I put my points across and then obviously some people try to like be like oh like you're, you're trying to tell me to like nah bro i'm speaking i'm gonna finish my point because you also just out here chatting shit bro everyone's just talking for talking sake anyways at the end of that one part of me thought that our whole group would not have gotten to the show because of they were literally shouting and i had to be like yo let me speak like let her speak when the discussion ended there was about like what 21 people left and they eliminated four people and i thought that day i would have found out whether i got to the show or not but here comes guys um we, do, we like the decision's too hard for us we thought we already knew from last week who would have made it through to, to back chat basically and you lots have just bought it you lots bought it we just can't make the decision to i'm like one more ask like what are you, you put me up my misery bruv i've been making three months of this after the whole debate now and they were asking us ah oh, has anyone got any questions here one gal no um is that lani chick coming back 
It was like a fucker, yo. Dirty blood clot, them. A fucker, yo. You just block your own blessings. A fucker. Why would you go and say that? Like, an existing cast member, you go and say, oh, is that Lani chick coming back? Like, why would you do... You're blocking your own blessings. You can't say stuff like that. That's like me going on America's Next Stop Model and being like, oh, it's Tyra coming back. Like, you can't do stuff like that. Right? They say you just block your own blessings. Sometimes in life, you just need to learn off and shut them out. And in that moment, you should have just kept quiet and I was saying, like, me personally, I was hoping that girl would have got on, like, because she had good points. She was another Jamaican as well. So I was thinking, yes, we've got Panda Show and we match up the thing. Jenna Bones and anything there, Panda, 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 Panda Show and everything there. But no, you had to kill yourself. You had to go and disrespect the friend. You don't do them things. You don't you don't do them things, bruv. You don't do them things. Nah, you don't do them things, man. The, the production team time and I said, who said that? Miss Emily just looked the next way, so me don't know who. Me never hear it, me never see it. Me just turn around, so. Yeah, so after like everyone's just there discussing and stuff like that, and I saw Luke, it was like, Lucas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, no, nah, no. Nah, this guy, this guy is a really nice guy. He had a smile on his face. He was just being very friendly and stuff like that. And he was just like, yeah, I swear, I've seen you before. Da, 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 da. And I was like, bro, I've been watching you since back chat started. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, I rate your thing because I was even like, I was even saying to the judges like, the people that I can kind of relate to, if I had to pick somebody on the show, would have been Esther, Lucas, and Lani. The reason why I say that is because all three of them are outspoken. And Lucas has this thing where he's like me, where he has mature points and he speaks sense. And he also also has them ooh moments same thing as Esther like Esther don't check no chat from nobody and, da, 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 and that's kind of me as well and Lani just says what's on her mind and that is also me as well so and them not seen it so when I saw Lucas I was just like yeah this like this guy was nice he was vibes and all that he was just like yeah like I rated your audition and you did really well this that and the next so I was just like right actually like it meant a lot seeing that an existing cast member person that's been on there for four seasons straight you no know, no thought my audition was good literally the following day I received the email like literally I went wait I went supermarket bro I went to the supermarket just bought my groceries and things came back inside now and I'm just there literally we're like where's the email where's the email congratulations just want to say a huge congratulations you have made it to the finalist of back chat season five we really loved your auditions yeah and we're excited to have you a part of the team my mouth dropped I was like really like really like I feel like this show is the best show possible for me to go on and just market myself like and trust me I'm gonna go on the show and shell it down yeah I'm gonna be myself yeah man's gonna run hey I'm telling you that's why I need each and every one of you to go over Trend Central right now yeah subscribe to their channel every episode that you see me in I'm gonna need you to go ham in the comments bro because man's coming with the vibes man's coming with the style man's coming with it I'm gonna tell me how to say it. Yeah, have to follow me on Instagram, I have to follow me on Snapchat, TikTok, everything because the content is gonna go in overload. Guys, like this is only the start of what I have coming for this year. Yeah, I'm just literally going to represent because this year didn't start off the greatest and I'm just determined to end this year on a very high note. Join Drip Nation, blood. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, blood, because the, the, the content is coming, blood. Yeah, all I gotta say is cheers to Back Chat Season 5. Ding. Cheers, bro. Wait, I have a shot, bro. I have a shot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait.